What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel. We got something really special for you guys today. We are rocked up on a beautiful long beach. We got the massive 39 contender. Frogged, man. Dude, we got it. We're getting the fire started. We're getting the fire started. Nice. Frog, epic dives today. It was good stuff. But we're always doing it safe, always buddy diving. And uh, dude, check out this whip. Guys, this is a 39 brand new contender. And oh my God. Talk about ease of diving, ease of everything, makes your life so simple. It is insane. We went out diving today, got into some insane action. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll on those clips and I'll see you guys back here afterwards. Don't go anywhere, you are not gonna wanna miss this. All right, you guys, start holding your breath and you're gonna take this dive with me starting now. So you can see I'm using this new and improved Hawaiian sling. Uh, it, it has the pink rail line. And unfortunately on this drop, you can see it kind of not working properly. And I noticed this instantly. Um, I've had a couple issues with it in the past. And I think I was trying to afterwards doing some comparison. And I feel like the hole on the cylinder is a little bit too small. And it's kind of skewed to the side. Um, as opposed to being dead center and which unfortunately causes this miss um well these couple of misses i make that drop dude did a little bit of grunting and hogfish came right in i picked the biggest one i was being very patient and i shot high and i don't know how i missed that fish uh but i hit him but unfortunately it tore out but there were so many hogs around i decided to reload and give it another go <laughs> So now when you're down there, I'm just doing everything very smooth. On this fish, it actually wasn't a great shot. Um, and I just cut my losses and uh, headed to the surface and really figured out that something was wrong with this sling. wrong with this sling. This sling is not shooting right. Like every shot is fucking like way off. Like way off. Like not even close, like point blank shots. You didn't even get me my other one. All right, you guys, so I went to the boat, got the new, or I guess my older sling, uh, and I'm about to make a drop so you guys can hold your breath with me starting now. So now the area that we're diving is around 70 feet. Usually it's a uh, most spots that we go to is a little past 70. Um, but you see, I'm going down with my sling in my left hand. That way, in case I drop on something quick, I'm ready to grab the back of the sling and draw and shoot. Um, and you, one thing that one thing I really make sure I do is I am always conscious of my line. Um, and you see that mono that's tethered out there. Uh, and that's how I, you know, I probably have about a fifth, uh, probably like a 10, 10 to 15 foot range max with this thing um but i drop to the sand and that's usually where you want to kind of drop so you can kick up some sand and pull things from the reef and you you'll see that happen here not only do those hogfish come out but also a nice black grouper comes out and he's kind of just using the fans to camouflage himself um it's crazy you don't really see him until he moves right there and i draw back he knew something i was kind of pursuing him he stops moving on the other side of that fan and so i draw back again hoping that i might be able to close that gap but sure enough he's too smart moves and i just kind of take a hail mary at this hogfish i should have i should have just closed that gap a little more um didn't land him uh but i go to the surface and i that is a good sign um that there are black grouper around so i go ahead and uh head to the surface and prepare for another drop and you guys just wait, this next one is going to be a really good one. There's a, there was a black. Like that. Huh? No, there's hogs down there. Go down there and sit for a minute. So here we go. 
here's the countdown let's go ahead and make this drop and uh, like I said this is a good one so keep your eyes peeled so now I'm making a drop roughly in the dis the area where that black grouper went he went kind of along this re reef edge uh, so I know he 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 wasn't spooked. I could tell from his body language, he was kind of just you know curious, uh, but a little timid. But hopefully, I'm kind of hoping um, he would show up. And when you see a lot of those grunts, yellowtail stuff like that, that's a good sign that you are in grouper territory. So now I'm looking at that hog, and then I look to the bottom and to the right, and I see it could be the same black sitting right there. And I'm thinking, no way, he's gonna give me a shot. So I'm getting as close as I can. He darts and I shot him on the fly and I, I could tell something was really wrong with him I hit him kind of in the in the spine, but back towards the tail. So he he was hit pretty good But the viz here is wasn't great. So I made sure I kept my eyes on him the entire time um, And even still with that I still lost sight of him uh, but in a future time in my next dive I end up making a drop and you'll see um, you'll see how bad the viz is it kind of you know got a little murky but you can see I'm just trying to pick out areas and kind of shadows to keep in mind of where to drop so I could keep on the spot and I could breathe up and prepare for another dive got a black rock up I got a black rock up so I quickly popped my head up and let everybody know that there was a black here and I was going to make a dive on it. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I, I just didn't want to take my eyes off that, uh, off of the general area we were in. And I know once I went down there, I would recognize the hole that he went in. Um, so I'm, that dark shadow kind of at the top of the screen was where I thought, um, the fish went and I'm pretty sure I was right. Uh, but it doesn't really look like it could hang out in there. It looks like there's nothing there, but there's a big crack, a good enough crack, um, to where that fish can wedge themselves in there and uh, it's something crazy happens but uh stay tuned i'll let this clip play out um but yeah this is a pretty cool dive here so now i went ahead and got the shot through i didn't rip him out i pushed the spear farther in and then slid my hands up the shaft to get my hands inside of the gills of that fish and when i was doing that you could see right here look to that hole you saw that little black thing there was another grouper the same exact size of the one that i shot sitting in the hole right next to that other one when i slid it out and it stayed in there which is crazy um but i grabbed that fish pulled it to myself keeping my eyes peeled you see me looking around i'm not kicking hard to get to the surface but i'm just slowly letting myself descend uh barely flutter kicking to the surface um so i'm not wasting any energy and also so i'm not kind of uh unnecessarily bringing sharks in for extra commotion bro there's another black in the exact same hole the exact same size sitting right next to this one he's still in there he's still in there <sighs> yes Bro. Jack Spiro, what do we have? We got we got a black on the sling. Ain't nothing but a sling ting. Got him on the homemade sling. Check that out. Beautiful. That's perfect eating size right there. There you go. Let's go, baby. Beautiful. Woo! Awesome. That's what we're talking about. Good stuff. Hell yeah. That's what we came here for. That was that's a beautiful, beautiful black. That's uh that's what happens whenever uh, you stick them. I stuck him right here, right there, and then uh, and then he rocked up in that hole and he actually led me to its buddy. The guys are in the water working that one out, so I'm gonna hop back in and I'll see you in the water. Yeah. So that guy on the beach was uh, John, AKA Frog, and here goes a dive of his. Um, and I absolutely love diving with other guys that wear GoPros because I snag their footage and we can check out their dives, hold our breaths with them as they go down. And uh, I'm not really gonna comment on this one. I'm gonna let you guys watch and enjoy uh, a really good diver spearing some fish. So take a look at this one.
So it wasn't moments after that one, uh, John made a drop to try to get one of those blacks out of that hole, and he's over two minutes on this drop, and he didn't want to come up empty-handed, so he lined up on a nice hog, and it was a really long dive, and I saw him let out some of his belt reel right there, and so I just went ahead and grabbed his spear, headed up with the fish. I didn't want the fish to get tangled on the bottom, bring in the sharks, so I pulled the fish up, didn't let him dangle too long to, you know, have any sharks get curious and come in and see, you know, to the commotion. And uh, Ricky was there also spotting, so that was just great buddy diving. And, um, you know, another fish to add to the box. Pretty stoked on this guy having some quality, quality meat in the cooler. Yeah, you were, you were looking right in it. Was there an asshole blocking? Yeah, well, he went in and when he went in, Oh, shit. Yeah, that was it though. So this is a dive, we headed in a little shallower. I go to make a drop and still I'm rocking the sling and it was a little shallower. I, this was a blind drop. I kind of saw this ledge here. So I just went down, I'm, I may have done, I think I did a little bit of grunting um, and I went to check this crack because it looked like, you know, significant structure. Sure enough, looked up into the sand. Sometimes when you do this, you get lucky heading down to the reef and a hog comes in off the grass and that's usually where they come from. This is a good size one. Took my time. I was trying to go for the stone shot, but I got a good enough shot right through. Just uh, if I was maybe a half inch higher, that probably would have stoned it. Um, this is from Bradley's point of view. You can see me kind of grabbing a hold of the fish and right there I point out to this other nice hog. Bradley lines up on him. He was going for the stone shot, ended up being just a hair high. And being that we're buddy diving, I'm able to, you know, he's able to gather himself and I'm able to keep an eye on where that fish went. And so I keep my eye in the cave exactly where that fish is and I don't take my eyes off it so he can make another drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right here, I still have the hogfish in my hand. Bradley came up, did a little breathe up, and uh, he's kind of analyzing. I pointed out where that fish was. He saw it deep inside this cave. This cave goes way deeper than I thought. And that was the ledge that I was originally going to check out. So you could tell how much like relief is there and what the potential is along the edges of these reefs. So if you're checking out, you see something that looks like it could be good, it's worth going down and making a drop and checking it out. Same thing, I go down and if you're buddy diving, grab a hold of the fish and uh, help assist them, the fish and the diver. And also you're gonna kind of fend away sharks and keeping your eyes peeled. And there were sharks on this drop. You can see this is my point viewpoint. I'm looking out in the distance and I do see a little reef shark, but pretty stoked on these fish, some quality meat. All right, Captain Jack, what do we got? We got Bradley and I doubling up. Oh, some beautiful hogs. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. I'm better. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. He, I shot him on the sling, he shot him on the pull spear. We got two different viewpoints on some quality, quality fish. Check it out. Beautiful. Get him on up. A little sharky, but you know, we're making it happen. All right. Good stuff. Getting it done. All right, you guys, we made it back. We got our fire guy, Mikey. What's up, he, guys? He set up this beautiful fire. We're letting it cook down. And the goal is we're gonna let this sucker cook down. This is gonna be an appetizer, um, but it's gonna be caveman style fish on the fire. And uh, the goal is we get these sticks to burn down, have a nice bed of coals down there, and then we're gonna throw these bad boys on it. Nice mutton, nice strawberry that we got today. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it turns out. It's a lot of these guys first time, so we're gonna do a taste test, let everybody know this is something that's awesome or it's something that's horrible. So we're gonna wait and find out. Yeah, just like that. 
Just like that. Just cook that little puppy up. All right, it's time for the uh, it's time for the strawberry. Why do you have no scales at all, huh? Yeah, dude. Put this up right next to him. So come from this side. Get on your feet. Get on your feet. Oh my gosh. All right. So you kind of shove it under. All right. Slowly lift up. A little wider. A little wider. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! All right. Okay. Little lift straight up. What are you doing? Just lift just straight up. Okay. There we go. Walk with me. Then you go around me. What the fuck? Jack! Got him? You got him? Oh my gosh. Bro, Michael gave him way too good. Jack! Jesus Christ. Give me the fucking stick. God damn it, dude. Alright, well, there, it's covered in sand, so that we got that. Shit. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's Why okay, Mike. Oh, no. Take two. Come on. All right, here. We'll I'm taste still this. recording. All right, we'll taste test it. Here, who wants the first taste? Who wants the first I'm bite? All right, here. Huh? I'll feed you. Is it all right? That'll do. Yeah? It's all right? Yeah. It's good meat. Is it, is it uh, great crunchy? Great texture. Like pillow. Pillow soft. Oh, dude, super soft. Here. But it's good? No. Let's try a piece of this. As long as you get that flavor. As long as you get those That's flies amazing. in there. Mmm. How's it all right? Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Mm. It's good. Yeah? It's good. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, you can, you're only allowed to eat from this section. Yeah. Mikey, do you feel bad? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's not. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. We got it on video. We know that it wasn't your fault. All right, but you guys, we are uh, gonna get the boat over to the marina. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't seen any of, the, uh, any of the other videos, I will link them up in the corner. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you want to see this every week. I'll drop a video every week. It's free for you guys and you get to join me on these epic adventures. So I will see you next week for another adventure. Later.